All right, here we go. All right. A lot of people ask, wonder about getting a line out if you're stripping. Figures that I'd pick up a leaf on that. All right. How to get your line back out if you're stripping streamer. Uh, you know, we're going to have a little bit of a compromise here in a way, but it's just a little different than the single-handed overhead. So I'm going to make a cast out here, pretend like. Typically, swinging streamers, stripping streamers in the river, you're going to cast out. You're going to give us some time to swing, even if you're stripping, because you've got to let it get down. Now it's gotten down to where I, where I want it, I'm going to start stripping. And notice I'm in line, basically in line with the line, with the rod and line are all basically in line of stripping, 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 stripping to the back of the head. And then I pinch off and hold and I continue to strip. And I strip in till the back of the head's about here. And now I can see my fly, and you probably can't see it because of the. I can see my fly so I can see whether a fish followed it or not. If a fish followed it, I'll continue stripping and also pull the rod tip up here to get that extra time to try to get them to hit. But if I don't see anything following, I mean, for you, for your pike guys and stuff, if I don't see anything following, what I'm going to do here is just drop that where I, and then slide the line out like that, roll it downstream, and now I am ready to make a cast again. And it's, that's no more hassle than having to do five or six false casts as would typically be with a with a uh, single-handed overhead rod. So it's, it's no more, takes no more energy. All it is is just a little different approach that when you're stripping in, watch for the back of that head. Here it comes, here it comes. Now I'm gonna pinch that one off here. I'm gonna strip in till the back of the head is here. I could see my fly. I don't see a fish falling. I'm gonna slide the line out roll down and I am now that see how all it is is just a different thing just getting used to a different deal pretty quick pretty quick conversion from that to the cast what I just showed you about stripping I'm not doing any cast I'm just talking here what that I just showed you about stripping about stripping the head halfway in and slipping it back out to cast it that's if you're concerned about being able to see whether a fish is following your fly, like most pike fishermen are. When I'm swinging, straight swinging trout and stuff, I don't do that. I do exactly what you're seeing right now, is just strip to the back of the head and then go right into my next cast. But there are people that are concerned. They want to be able to see. They want to be able to get their fly close enough to know what's, if anything's going on out there. And so that's what that whole slip, pull it into the head into the, into the hair and then slipping it back out before you cast. That's what that is all about. But typically, like I said, I'm swinging for dollies right here. I am not going to strip that thing all the way in. That's, I'm just going to strip it into the back of the head and boom, back to the back of the head to the rod tip, not to my fingers, and then cast again. So.